I started to read books and thought, wow, America really is a land of opportunity. It really is the greatest place ever. And I thought, well, what have you got to do? Well, I don't know. If I, if I don't jump in and just try things, even though I don't know what I'm doing, like I can't swim, I'm going to still jump in. Nothing's going to happen without jumping in. I've got to do that and figure it out along the way. Okay, Mark, can I ask you a question about your book? 2005, you, you're talking about jumping into the deep end of the pool. Give me the kind of the, the basis for what you're saying from page one all the way to the end. What, what, are you, what are you trying to tell us to do in your book, jumping into the deep end of the pool, even if you don't know how to swim? Well, the, the context is, as you know, I, I was in the military in a in a, a parachute regiment, a pretty elite military unit in Britain. But that was my only skill set. Didn't go to college, didn't know anything about business or marketing. So I came to America and got a job as a servant, someone's servant in Beverly Hills and started a new life in America at the very, very lowest level. I think I came with about $200 American cash and that was it. I earned $100 a week as a servant in Beverly Hills. And I started to read books and thought, wow, America really is a land of opportunity. It really is the greatest place ever. And I thought, well, what do you got to do? Well, I don't know. If I, if I don't jump in and just try things, even though I don't know what I'm doing, like I can't swim, I'm going to still jump in. Nothing's going to happen without jumping in. I've got to do that and figure it out along the way. Because I think you can be paralyzed by fear of that you're going to be embarrassed or fail. But I figured out something really important. This is the most important thing I would tell your viewers right now. I realized that the embarrassment and, and shame of trying something and failing will be painful, mm -hmm. but nowhere near as painful as looking back in 30 years, knowing I didn't even try. Mm -hmm. Jump in, even if you don't know how to swim. So your message to us is, you know, get after it. And, you know, the scriptural back, back up to that is God hath chosen the foolish to confound the wise. You know, my mom and dad, very much the same way. We bought a TV station in 1973. Uh, my mom and dad didn't really know exactly what they had. They had a tiger by the tail that turned into Trinity Broadcasting Network. That's you know, on globally around the world now. Um, what qualities did you see in the winners of Survivor? You talk about that in your book. You know, the winners of your many, many, many seasons of Survivor, they always had something in common. What was that? Well, certainly, um, if you think of what Survivor is, Survivor is a TV show, it's a, it's a game, I guess, in some ways. Except for what's brilliant about Survivor is you're in these tribes, and each week the secret vote eliminate somebody so at one point they're eliminating people they don't like later they're eliminating people who are a threat who may be better than them but when you get to the end there's just two left and the people who decide who gets the million dollars are the very people that were eliminated they are the jury so think about that this is like a management training course where how can you be the right person who can fire somebody eliminate somebody and they still like you enough to give you the gift at the end. <laughs> that is the key. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.